Hey friends, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to try something just a little bit different. Okay, so I've done a handful of music video reactions so far on my channel and ever since I did the high Ren reaction, I've kind of had this idea in the back of my head of doing sort of like follow-up videos. Basically because when I'm hearing the song and the reaction, it's the first time I'm hearing it, so there's a lot of things that are missing, right? I'm not really getting the full impact of the song. So I've realized only after really sitting with these songs for a week or two can I really give a really impactful, in any way meaningful, connected reaction. So I'm considering after maybe not every single reaction I do, because I understand like some songs will be a little more on the nose for me. Uh, I'm not always the best at paying attention. I do have ADHD and sometimes I tend to hyper focus on the wrong aspects, not the wrong aspects, but not every aspect that I could. So the song that has really, really just hit me right in the feels is the song Chalk Outlines um, by Ren and Chinchilla. I feel like when I did that initial reaction to Chalk Outlines, I paid a lot of attention to the set and the acoustics and just how they sounded, how they vibed off of each other, but I didn't really pay as close attention to the lyrics. Now this is the really interesting thing. Of all of the songs I have reacted to by Ren and anyone so far, this is the song that I really relate to the most. So, you know, I've been listening to the studio version on repeat for like a week and a half, and it is almost embarrassingly painful to me that I didn't catch most of what the song was about. You see, Chalk Outlines, it is now my understanding that Chalk Outlines could very well be about psychiatric medication. It's just ridiculous that I didn't catch on. I did just a little bit when Chinchilla's verse started and, and she said, you know, sertraline Sertr with a sip of serotonin. And in my reaction, I said, Zoloft. Oh, Zoloft. <laughs> I have been on, I can't think of anything I haven't been on for um, depression, anxiety. I also have ADHD, as I mentioned. Um, the song really hit, the song really hit me in the feels when I really could just focus in on what the message was. And the way that both of the writers are able to so, oh my God, accurately describe that sensation, that feeling, just, you know, it's such a perfect day, take it just in case. That hit the hell out of me, the hell out of me. Um, so, so the line in that, the line in that bridge, it's such a perfect day, take it just in case. Oh, how accurate is that? I'm sure anyone watching this who, who has struggled with, you know, anxiety, depression, anything that might really change the quality of your life, how accurate is that? I'm scared of being okay because all things change. It's just like, oh my god. So in, in my experience of taking these medications, it's, it's basically like, it is a crush and it isn't. Um, like sure, you know, you can be capable of having a decent day in between all of the horrible ones but how can you be sure? How can you be sure that your body, your brain will just naturally say, you know what, it is a good day, the sun is shining, no one died today, um, nothing horrible happened in your life. Uh, surely, surely you should be happy, but there's, there's no predicting it. There's no, it's just not reliable, you know? So that, such a perfect day, take it just in case. That destroyed me. I cried like a baby when I really just sat down and, and listened to that. The feeling you get, the feeling that I get, I cannot speak for everyone, the feeling that I always have gotten on SSRIs and benzos is basically you're not allowed to feel. It's so weird. It's like you can kind of feel 
you feel an inkling of an emotion and then it just disappears. It is so strange. This goes for good emotions and bad emotions. Like everything that I've taken has really just kept me at this level. Even if something amazing happened, even if I got a phone call that's like, you know, you're gonna be doing some really, really great shows, you know, music opportunities or anything. Uh, you just got a promotion at work or something. Um, something that should make you go from here to up here, right? No. Uh, on these medications, everything is right here. And uh, the thing is, you know, when you're really in the throes of it, that right there is preferable because you can't, yeah, you're maybe you're gonna have some really, really great news, great day or whatever, but you can't guarantee it's gonna be a great day. It could be the worst day that you've ever experienced. And so you have to, it's like you have to stay on it. You have to because it's too unpredictable what might happen, what might set it off. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was in any way comprehensible as it is the first of hopefully many. Stay tuned for more reactions coming up soon. I'm really gonna try to get on a schedule. It's just everything's been insane lately. Things are about to die down just a little bit because I quit my job. Um, whoops. So anyway, now maybe I'll be able to make some videos during my downtime. All right, friends, as always, if you liked the video, please like the video, feel free to comment, share, subscribe, whatever you got in you. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.